you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guide. And today, we got our third install, one of the most overrated cards in Madden 20 that I think you should sell right now. Now, why they're overrated isn't always just because of stats. It's because of what I think will come out next. So, like, I'm going to give you guys that are, like, the best players in the game right now. I'm going to call them overrated because I don't think they're going to last too long. And the best thing, the best thing, in my opinion, to always be aware of when you're a Madden Ultimate Team player, any kind of my team sort of mode, is to always be aware of future content because that can greatly affect. So, like, if you have a card right now that's the best player in the game, he's 600k. But I think that, but we know that a new card's coming that's going to overpower it, and the stats really aren't that far ahead. Far ahead. You know their stats aren't going to say, like, Bo Jackson, it's hard to say he's overrated because he's going to be the best running back for quite a while, maybe, like, even a month, because his stats are that far ahead. Michael Vick's stats are that far ahead. Deion Sanders will have stats that are that far ahead. Lawrence Taylor, same thing. But some guys are just barely above, so we know the next card that comes out at that same position is going to be better. So his price will greatly drop, because some cards only retain value because they're slightly better than other cards, and they have a lot more value. Not a little bit, a lot more value. But the second a card comes out, that's better. That card goes right down to normal. Some cards should be normal pricing. I'll, you guys are on the same thing. Some cards, let's say both, most 9011s go for like 280 to 300k. And this one legend that's a 90 but has slightly better speed than the rest will be at 600k. But you know that once a card comes out that's even close to it, that card goes back down to 300 is not really worth it. So that kind of changes the whole dynamic of everything. So I'll get into all that, guys. But in this overrated thing, some guys that were overrated will no longer be overrated. And again, it's not because their cards aren't overrated. It's because I think they're getting a new card soon, and then they're going to be really good backs or really good players. I just gave one away. But you guys get the point. I'm going to do this through the auction block. I'm going to go through positions that I think overrated starts at. I don't think anything below 85 is overrated. I think like 86 isn't up. Could be considered overrated because those are cards that people are currently spending a good amount of coin on. If you're under 50k, you're not overrated. Actually, those are the budget beasts, to be honest with you guys. But guys, before we get to the video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Let's get this video to 200 likes. I greatly appreciate that. Appreciate that. If you're a loyal supporter, hit the like button. Turn on the bell button, the bell icon to get notified when I post a brand new video. And make sure to drop a sub, boys. If you're new to the channel, drop a sub. You won't regret it. I might only be posting two times today because it is Sunday football. And I kind of want to watch and get in, you know, my first week. And I got to enjoy it. But let's go over to quality. Let's go to 86, 87s. So we're going to come down. Again, all flashbacks are overrated. All of them. I don't even gotta go individual. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do more like cards that aren't like special promo cards like that. So as you come on down, Ezekiel Elliott boys is no longer overrated. Is his this is card overrated? Yes, but I think Elliott's gonna be getting a brand new card. So just sign that massive contract. He's gonna be getting a great card with probably armbar. So Ezekiel Elliott no longer overrated. He's off that list. But as we come back down, Earl Thomas, I've been saying it, I think he's highly, highly overrated. 80 speed, 87 play rec, 89 zone. Those stats look real good, right? But being 5'10 with an 80 speed, no go. And I was thinking about it. I have even powered him down because I was thinking, even if a new Earl Thomas came out, right? What do you have? An 84 speed, 90 play rec, 90 above zone. But that doesn't matter because he hits the threshold anyways once you power him up and put his chems on. But his hit power will still be atro atrocious. His man coverage will still be bad. His tackle will still be bad. His pursuit will still be bad. And his speed will still be bad. And trust me, Earl Thomas, I, I know from experience, his zone is so good that he'll get to the ball but then he just gets mossed because he's he's too tiny. It's, it's actually frustrating. I go for picks and he can't get them. I go to swat, he gets mossed. He's too tiny and he's too slow. So then occasionally he attracts the ball, but he's too slow, he just gets burnt. Or, or he gets a he, good play rec, you know, he gets right into the play to make a tackle. He gets trucked, he gets juked. And even if he does make the tackle, they run him over for an extra four yards for a first down because he's too weak. Trust me, Earl Thomas is highly overrated. I think he's been overrated for years, man. He always gets good zone animations, but this is the year of the run right now. And you need run support. That's why I picked up Brian Dawkins, which I recommend. Earl Thomas, highly overrated in my opinion. Now, next on this list, I've been saying Richard Sherman's overrated. He has great coverage stats, amazing coverage. His next card will probably be pretty good. But that speed, trust me, I versus Richard Sherman's, I just streaked the ball. He can't keep up. He could press you off the line, whatever, but Earl, Tyree Kill is like 10 speeds faster. You can't keep up with him. Do I love his stats, don't get me wrong. The first like week of Madden, he was really good because people weren't fast enough yet. But once every, everyone got faster, he's, he's too slow. I mean, he's not horrible. I'm not going to go too in-depth because obviously a lot of these basically cards, this is their first card. Uh, Luke Keekley. I don't think he's overrated because he does have another card. So I can't really base off the basically, although he was once on that list. Now, it is pretty much it for these because a lot of these 87s are actually really, really good. It's more so as we get up into the 88, 89 tier, 90 tier. That's when I start finding a lot of cards where I'm like, wow, they're overrated. So here so far, really nothing. Again, I'm not going to be focusing on flashbacks. It's obviously guys like Jarvis Landry. A lot of these guys are overpriced. But I mean, 88s, I wouldn't call them overpriced right now. But the card itself, if it wasn't for training, would be. 
Now, I'm not including the theme diamonds again because they're not getting more. I think all the theme diamonds are overrated because they're not going to get many upgrades. I don't care what anyone says, no matter what people want to say to that. They are 88 overalls. You can't get them to 90s, but they might not get an upgrade the rest of the year. So I'd much rather stay away. Marcus Allen. He's amazing, boys. But it's time we start moving on from this halfback. It, it is. It's time we start moving on from this halfback. So coming on down, guys that I think overrated in this range, Harrison Smith, highly overrated. People try to argue with me on this one. Say he's in he's in the Earl Thomas situation, except for the fact he's a much better tackle. He's a much better run support safety. So honestly, I'd take him over Earl Thomas in a heartbeat because he's a much better run support safety. But again, for an 89 overall for 200k, that's a quick pass for me. Um, we come on down, Bradley Chubb, highly overrated. I don't know if anyone's really used this card. He does not play too great. I feel like there's a lot better odds. Like if you're gonna go outside linebacker for almost 200k, make go up all the way to Lawrence Taylor. Faster, better excel, better tackle, better power move, better finesse. His power move and finesse move, in my opinion, are way too low to be a pass rusher. Like for that price, I'd much rather get someone with at least one threshold. You need one threshold for a power move, but it doesn't have to be finesse and power. You really only need one. But that's just my opinion. Now again, the Arc Team of the Week cards, again, special cards are always gonna be up in price, so it doesn't really you can't really debate it on that. Dalvin Cook's amazing, not overrated. So now here's where I'm really gonna I'm really gonna go in. The 91s are where prices are really crazy. This is where you can really talk about them. So coming in. Hmm. Derek Brooks, in my opinion, highly overrated. People try to argue with this one with me too. He has an 81 speed and 90 tackle, 89 play rec. Okay, that's fine, right? That's fine. He's he's not he's he's decently fast, decent tackle. So he's he's a decent run support linebacker, but his block shedding 73. So if he gets blocked, he's not getting off of it. See Lawrence Taylor, Lawrence Taylor, he gets blocked. Oh wait, he doesn't get blocked. Lawrence Taylor doesn't know what a block is. Lawrence Taylor gets right off it. Derek Brooks at 240k. He's slower. He can what? He can tackle. Okay, yeah, if he gets the ball. But he literally he's tinier. And he has no power, no finesse. So you can't rush him. He's gotta be his own guy. So let's just say you put him in the zone, right? You put him in the zone. I believe his zone's like an 80, which is decent. It's nothing special. His own coverage is an 82, so yeah, he could play in the zone, but that's nothing, with the way zones play this year, that's really not, unless you don't have a 90 zone, like they don't play that great. That's really nothing special with the way, and everyone everyone runs the ball. Derek Brooks is a liability in the run game. So that's why I believe like his price, 90 overall, highly overrated. Now coming on down, obviously Lyman, not overrated. Patrick Mahomes is actually underrated in my opinion. A lot of these guys I actually really like. I don't have too many issues this year with a lot of cards, but Todd Gurley, I think he's overrated. I don't know why people are trying to argue this one with me too. Compare him to Mark Allen. Mark Allen goes for almost half the price. He's faster, has better excel, better catching, better trucking. Todd Gurley literally beats him in five broken tackle and elusiveness, and you have, you're stuck with his abilities, which I don't like. I don't like first one free. I don't like jukebox. I don't like backfield mismatch. I don't like pin and pull guru in that order. See, if he had evasive, evasive, or arm bar or something, or if he had like arm bar with jukebox or backfield mismatch and pin and pull guru, that'd be an awesome set. But to get Todd Gurley the way you're going to like him, right? You're gonna have to upgrade him all the way, lose his abilities, rebuy abilities, buy him for 330k. He's gonna come out to like 550k to get him the way you like him. And for 550k, I'd much rather go with a guy like Marcus Allen for half the price already and then just throw some abilities on him. Now, next on this list, I've been saying Steve Young was overrated. And not because his card's not good, his card's amazing. But I said to you guys, guys, don't, when he was 600k, I was like, don't buy him for 600k, guys. A new mobile quarterback's gonna be coming soon. This is the bait. Every year in Madden, they drop that first mobile quarterback, that first one, and everyone goes crazy. Oh my God, the first running quarterback, we need it. Like Cam Newton's, Steve Young's, Russell Wilson's, everyone overpays for them. And then a week later, two weeks later, like I said, we got Vic now. Is Steve Young better? Yeah, but I'd much rather have Michael Vick with that speed because Steve Young's, Steve Young's passing is, is good, but they still airmail things. Like trust me, passing has been really inconsistent for me this year. Even P Patrick Mahomes, Young, like they airmail things, they overthrow, they make bad passes but that speed is killer. Like Michael Vick, I played my first game with him, 180 yards, three carries, kid quit. It was that It was that easy. Obviously, if I can get him with his full one with escape bars, it'd be, it'd be game over. But obviously I have to wait for that. I cannot afford three million coins right now. But in my opinion, Steve Young at 350K is a much better buy now. But I still think that's overrated because 81 speed really isn't that mobile. If you put escape bars on him, yeah, but by itself stock, not exactly. Especially with how fast defense is already in this game. Like there's some speed already in this game. Now another guy's Gale Sayers, overrated. And now, yeah, like this is the guy I was talking about who goes for 680K. And like, so look, let's compare him to Mark Sound. You might say, oh wow, well, Gale Sayers has better speed by two. Okay. That's what I was saying. So you're like, oh, I need Gale Sayers, the best running back in the game. Yeah, well, his acceleration and agility, they're all good. His catching is decent. His looseness is good. His break tackle is good. His truck is bad. I could care less about truck. That's not the point. The point is everyone's going to overpay for Gale Sayers. 
this is a guy that I don't think will be getting a lot of upgrades until at least Ultimate Legends. He might be, he's not gonna get another upgrade. He's not a popular enough, a popular enough like Madden Legend. That he's gonna be getting like a Christmas card and all that stuff. That's more, that's more for other cards. He will get a base legend, and then most likely a ultimate legend. So you're gonna be you're gonna get this 91 guy right for 680k. You're gonna power him up. Then power persons can be like maybe 760k. Then you're gonna put abilities on him. You're gonna probably end up spending like close to 800 900k for this card. Okay, you have 90 speed of running back. He's slightly better than Marcus Allen. I guess that's cool. But then in like a week or two, we're gonna get a Zeke, probably maybe a Saquon, maybe a Barry Sanders or a Dane Thomason. And when we get that Barry Sanders card, he's gonna be different. He's gonna be special. The Damian Thomason with armbar, he's gonna be special. Those cards are gonna be special. Gale Sayers is like, he's in the moment. He's like that hype guy. Like, oh, right now he's good. Yeah, right now he's good. Marcus Allen was that guy. Right now he was good. I don't. I never thought Marcus Allen was my long-term uh, like answer at halfback. He was right now good, but he was right now good for a month. I think Gale Sayers might be right now good for like a few weeks. And Marcus Allen was far and away the fastest guy. Gale Sayers is slightly the fastest guy, and that's only gonna be for like a week or two, in my opinion. I really don't think he's gonna last that long. If he was 350k, it'd be a different story, but 680k, and so just to get him with the, and you need evasive, you need, like, abilities, so to get the abilities on him that you're gonna want, he's gonna cost almost 900k to almost a million quid, at that point, go get Bo Jackson. In my opinion, I'd wait on, I'd wait on Gale, let him come down a little bit. Highly overpriced. All the signature series cards, in my opinion, overrated. I'm not even gonna go into detail. Philip Rivers is not good for 650k. And, uh, same thing with Devontae Adams. 84 speed for almost a million coins. I'll pass. You know what that looks like to me? You know what that is? That's this guy that can't even run a route. It's DeAndre Hopkins. He's literally a replica of DeAndre Hopkins. A replica of DeAndre Hopkins. And DeAndre Hopkins can't do anything because he's too slow. He's like, he can catch decently. That's about it. Guys, that is about it for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. I hope this gives you guys some insight. I mean, remember, I didn't go over every overrated card, but I give you guys the criteria for why they're overrated. You guys have to always look at that. You always have to look at now versus the immediate future. Because at the now, Gale Sayers is the best running back in the game. That's affordable, I guess you could say, over Bo Jackson. That's not limited time. But within the next two weeks, he's going to be just an afterthought. And you, know, you have to understand, these legends, when they first come out, like Brian Dawkins, a million coins, they are the best card at their position, so they're overpriced. In two weeks, when they're just one of the best cards at their position, they're not overpriced anymore. When Mark Allen was first out, he was like 400K because he was the best guy at his position by far. Now he's just one of the best guys. So guess what? He's 160K. Most legends that are 91 over, like Gale Sayers, he will probably come down to around 400k. That's where he should sit for now. And then in a few weeks, maybe even 350. I don't think he's any more worth than that, guys. But that is it for the video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Let's get this video to 200 likes. Make sure to drop a sub down below. Turn on the noti bell to get notified every time I post a brand new video. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.